Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So today's video, I figured I would take you guys along shopping with me. Um, I'm gonna go look at a couple stores for some fall decor. I don't want to go overboard with decor. I wanna keep it very minimal, but still look very pretty. So I have a plan, I think. I'm gonna go look at a couple stores, um, and then I'm also gonna run by either Publix or Walmart, I'm not sure, whichever one I'm closest to at the time, and grab us a steak for dinner. Um, that was Dylan's request for Sunday dinner. So anyway, that's the plan. So I'll see you guys at the store. I just left Bell's Outlet. They didn't have much fall decor, nothing that I was really interested in. So I just came, I'm here at Dollar General right now. I'm gonna run in and see what they have. Um, if they don't have anything, I'm most likely just gonna call it quits for the day just because I don't wanna keep running to store to store and it be empty. <laughs> so I'm gonna come in here and see what they do have. Um, and um, if I find anything that I like, I might buy it. If not, then I'll just have to do fall decor shopping a little bit later. Like I said, I don't really want to get a whole lot of stuff. Um, I just want a couple things. So we'll go in here and see what they got. Hit the jackpot. So I thought this basket right here would be really pretty to put a house plant in um, and it was only 10 bucks.
y'all. It was hot wearing a face mask. My face gets like all beet red and I can't breathe. Um, but I got some cute stuff from Family or Dollar General. So I'm super excited. It was $61, but I obviously got a couple other things that were not fall decor related. Um, but I feel like that's not too bad. For the stuff I got, I feel like I got quite a bit. Um, I do need to hit Dollar Tree. And I'll probably do that another day, though. I'm going to go ahead and go to Publix, get our steak for our dinner tonight, and then call it a day. And I'll show you guys the stuff that I ended up getting. Um, I'm super excited. So a quick slight change of plans. I decided to go ahead and come to Walmart and take a look at their fall stuff. And I'm so glad I did because I found exactly what I was looking for. Um, all these little picks and pumpkins were only 98 cent a piece. And then they had a full um, fall decor section that was really affordable. Um, a lot of their stuff was less than five bucks. And some of their wreaths were only $20 and they were so pretty. Um, I would even say that some of them were <laughs> nicer than Hobby Lobby's for a fraction of the cost. So definitely check your local Walmart if you are out looking for fall decor because I feel like that was the spot that had the prettiest, um, most affordable things. Okay, so I just got done with Walmart. Um, I found some really great stuff. I didn't find like a whole lot of um, bigger things and honestly, I didn't really wanna buy a lot of big stuff. I wanted just floral picks, um, things to just kind of make my decor look more like fall. So I definitely found what I was looking for there. I'm excited to show y'all whenever we get home. Um, I'm out of breath because I parked way in the back because there's no parking spots right now. Walmart is a madhouse, <laughs> um, literally, and like all the registers are card only, so people are getting really frustrated that have cash that don't have cards. There was a lot of people standing in line for like 20 minutes and then just to get up there to hear that there's no cash registers open. It's really frustrating. So. Luckily, I have I had my card, so I was able to pay. It's just really stressful for some right now with all this coin shortage stuff going on. I can only imagine how they're feeling when people are not accepting their cash money, which is weird. <laughs> they are short on cash, but they're not accepting cash. You know what I'm saying? That right there just, to me, seems a little off. They could easily say exact change only um, and take exact change only which would make more sense, but the fact that they're just doing no cash at all is pretty insane. Anyway, um, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm gonna go home, unload all this stuff. I got lots of stuff to show y'all. Um, so it'll be a pretty large haul, and then I wanted to share with y'all the bed that we got. Um, so we'll jump into that in just a moment. All right, y'all, so I am back from shopping. I wanted to share with y'all the things that I got. Um, what I'm gonna do is just got, kinda go by the store, um, each store that I bought stuff from, so y'all know where I got it. It'll just be easier to keep track of everything. So, first off, from Bell's Outlet, I didn't find any home decor, but I did find a sheet set for our new bed, um, and this was $16.99. It's just a microfiber queen sheet set. And then I found this two-pack of pillows for $12.99, which I felt like was a pretty good deal considering how like soft and fluffy these pillows are. So I got those, and that was it from Bell's Outlet. Like I said, I didn't find anything that I really love there besides I really wanted to get those things, the pillows and the sheets from there. So then next, um, I went to Dollar General and Dollar General had some of the cutest fall decor, at least that one that I went to. The Dollar General closest to me does not have anything right now, but this one had some really cute stuff. So I found this um, mirror, like wicker basket I thought it was really, really pretty. I This is not technically fall decor. This was 12 bucks, but I really wanted it for on um, the wall next to my hutch in my dining room. I thought it'd be really pretty to, you know, have the mirror to bounce off natural light from that window. So I plan on hanging that up over there. And if it doesn't work out there, I'm sure I'll find a spot for it because it goes with my home decor really well. 
Um, next, I found a couple little signs. This one says, Hello Fall. This one was four bucks, and it just has a little, you know, picture frame holder, so that way I can set it up on the counter. So I got that one for four dollars. I got this one for two. Just says Happy Harvest. And then this one, stands on my hair is blowing in my face. Um, this one I have, and it says Happy Halloween. It was two bucks. And down the Halloween aisle, I also found this. I thought it was really cute. Um, this was five bucks. And what I planned on doing with this is kind of to start decorating for Halloween a little bit. I could just add like a, you know, fall pick to it and make it look really like fall. And then it can also be for Halloween. So grab that. I also found this little box that says homegrown. I thought this was really pretty and I thought it'd be nice to um, put some flowers in here for fall and then I can always use this for mail sitting on the counter um, because we never really have a spot to put our mail so I thought it would be cute to use this box for that um, and honestly I can use it for so many different things so I really like this and it was six bucks six dollars I almost thought for a second I paid nine for it and I was like oh my gosh <laughs> but um, it was only six dollars and then um, what else did I get this little pumpkin I don't know how much this was because it didn't have a price tag on it, but it does light up. That was really pretty, and I think this would be cute in the bathroom. <laughs> Just like a little like night light at nighttime. I thought it was really pretty. So I got that, and then I found this Halloween pumpkin, and what I planned on doing was turning it this way when I'm not using it for Halloween decor, and then this way for Halloween time. So I thought that would be pretty. And then I don't honestly, <laughs> At, in the store, the way that they had it like um, displayed, it looked really cute. It's like a little chicken um, or turkey chicken. It's a turkey, but it was five bucks and I just love the colors of it. It goes with my home decor really well. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll figure it out. If not, I'll just return it, but <laughs> I don't know. I thought maybe with some fall decor, honestly, I don't really love it now that it's at home, but <laughs> I got it and I'm, I'm sure I'll figure out what to do with it. Um, it kind of looks a little scary now that I'm looking at it I, anyway, but I got that too. And then I found this soap dispenser. This was only $3 and 50 cent. It has like a little chicken on it. I thought this would be pretty to use for my soap by my, um, sink. I have one that's clear right now. I'm just kind of, you know, just wanting to change it out and maybe I'll use the one that's by my kitchen sink now in our bathroom. Um, but this one just looked kind of farmhouse style like, that I like to go for. So I plan on using that in there. And then I found the kids these cute little ghost cups. Um, this one does have a straw. It just fell out. So I got those. And then the only soap they had at Dollar General was this soap. I needed um, some hand soap. And they are sold out everywhere. I cannot find hand soap. So this was free and clear dish liquid. It's um, zero fragrances or dyes. So I'm hoping that it will be okay to use on our hands. Um, not too harsh if I put this in the bathrooms. It's better than nothing. So I got that. And I also picked up a pack of my favorite nails. Um, these are like the matte black ones that I love to wear. They're really, really pretty. And um, I can only find them at Dollar General. So that but I think that's everything from Dollar General and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to Walmart okay my feet were falling asleep the way I was sitting so I had to sit down on my butt um I'm so on now to Walmart all of the fall decor is back in the garden center which I, obviously I didn't know it was back there so the first time I went to Walmart looking I didn't look back there but I did find some cute stuff so first off I got all of these like green picks that come with green pumpkins and white ones. This one was missing the white pumpkin and I couldn't find it, but I just got it anyway because it was really pretty. Um, and I got a total of four of these. So that's all four. And I honestly plan on using these as like a table arrangement, I believe, or I might use them as a wreath. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But they were really pretty and they were three bucks each, um, which is a a little pricey for picks um, but at dollar I looked at Dollar Tree and they didn't have nothing that I was really interested in I have a entire box of Dollar Tree fall arrangements that I will be using as well to mix in with these but I really just love the green um, look just only really neutral colors I definitely love the t traditional fall colors and I plan on using those but I also wanted to incorporate some green stuff as well 
I really don't know. Whenever I decorate, I'll just go for it and just see what happens. So just make sure y'all look out for that video. It won't be for a while. I don't plan on decorating early. I know a lot of people are um, and that their homes look absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get my fall decor before it sold out. Um, but I personally just don't like to decorate too early because then it just ruins, you know, the season of fall for me personally. That's just my opinion. I'm not hating on anybody who decorates early. I love watching the videos. So y'all keep posting them because I like to watch them. <laughs> um, moving on, I got some more of these little floral picks. Um, these are, these were 98 cent a piece. So I plan on sticking those in with these. I thought like adding, you know, both together would be really pretty. Like, look how, oh, it just looks so cute. I love that. And then this one's kind of more neutral. And this one is like the traditional fall colors. And even that together, it looks really pretty. So, um, obviously I would play around with it and spread it out, but got those. And like I said, I got three of these just random picks. So, got those. And then I got a bag of little orange, um, burnt orange and some green pumpkins. These were $2.98 for this little bag. And then I have a orange pumpkin, a white pumpkin. <laughs> got a lot of pumpkins here. A green one. I have a tan one with gold stripes. I don't know, I just really thought this one was pretty. And then I found a fabric orange one and I just loved it, so I grabbed that. And then on the way out, I found this bag of pumpkins and this one was $4.98 and it comes with a pair. Um, so, I don't know, I just thought these were pretty. So I wanted to use those as an arrangement as well. And I think that's all the stuff that I got today. Um, and then of course I do have fall decor put up and then I have, I'll show y'all this whole box. Oh my goodness. It's heavy full of fall flowers that I bought last year. And I had from the year before, um, a lot of these I used for a wreath and then I had a two arrangements I believe last year. So I will do something with all these, probably make a wreath out of them or something. So just make sure y'all stay tuned for that video. I'm super excited about that. But now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all um, us unboxing our bed and all that and give you a re review on the Novilla brand. I seriously slept so good last night and I just cannot wait to crawl in bed again tonight because it's so comfortable. We just got back from um, getting Chick-fil-A for dinner. So we just ate and we also had to go pick up my new mattress that came in. Um, I'm actually working with a company, Novilla. Um, they are a mattress company. They have really affordable um, memory foam mattresses. So I did get one sent to me so I can give you an honest review on it. I'm super excited. We are going to set it up tonight because our bed is super uncomfortable. At least to us, we've had it for a while now and I feel like it's starting to kind of slope in the center. So um, I'm super excited to try out this new mattress and hopefully get a better night's rest because I haven't slept really well the past week or so and Dylan and I both have had like terrible back pain so I'm hoping that this mattress helps and I will just keep you guys updated on it. We're going to go ahead and put it together and just see how it looks um, and I think I'm going to continue this vlog on until tomorrow since I don't have that much footage. We do plan on going fishing tomorrow night so I might film us fitch uh, fishing. <laughs> fishing a little bit um but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get the mattress set up and i will let you guys know what i think does daddy need help does daddy need help oh my gosh i get so excited it's heavy guys dang they have it like compact So I just quickly wanted to say thank you to Novilla for sending us this mattress to give y'all a review on and so far we love it. We've slept so good on it and I will continue to keep y'all updated um, the longer we have it. So if you want to check out their mattresses and their website, I will have a link below for you guys and I also have a 10% off code. It is BudgetFam10.
Okay, y'all. So, I just got the bed all set up, um, and I am so in love with this bed so far. I cannot wait to sleep on it tonight, and I will keep y'all updated on the quality of it, so just stay tuned for that. I obviously don't know how it's going to feel sleeping on it. Um, this is going to be our first night, and it does say on the back here that it takes at least 30 days to adapt to it. So, I'm going to give it, you know, a couple days and I'll keep y'all updated on how I'm feeling, how my back is feeling. I have terrible low back pain and I think a lot of it is due to the way that, like, our old mattress doesn't, like, contour to your body. And this one does. It, like, sinks, like, my butt in but, like, contours my back and I am just so excited to sleep on this. Um, and it just talks about how it's um, chemical free and... The a warranty back here on the back, it shows you all about that. And on the front, it just shows you how to set it up, compatible with all different setups, and the mattress size guide. It just kind of gives you a little information on this little packet that it comes with. So I really love that. I will link their website below if you want to do a little bit more research on it yourself as well. Um, but just stay tuned for another update and my upcoming videos. I'll keep you all updated on how I sleep on it. I'm super excited though, but so far I love it. So I also wanted to show you guys real quick that it has a nice zipper along the side around the whole thing so you can unzip it and wash this cover, um, which I think is great. What do you think? Do you think it's nice? You can't be on my bed no more. I got a new bed. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Can't be on my bed no more. Oh, ow, are you okay? <laughs> Keep reeling, keep reeling. Reel it in, Maya. Look at it. Check him out. Reel him in, baby. He's a catfish. Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me show Maya. Show Maya. She caught it. Look, smile. Don't touch him. Kaden. Oh, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's a big one. Catch him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, Maya, leave it in there. One more minute. Just leave it down there for just a second, baby. Okay? Leave it down there and they'll get it. Hold on, leave it in there. Hold on. Give it just a minute, baby. Roll it in, baby. Oh, look at him. You got him. You got him, baby. <laughs>